All right, everybody. So um, I know that we're having some technical issues getting Google File Stream to show up. And um, it works really well when it works. Unfortunately, it has been a little bit tricky to get it to work for some of you guys. And um, I, I just ran into a situation where it is not showing up on my computer. So I'm gonna, I decided to record my screen and show you guys how to get it to work again. So if you're in the remote desktop, right? So in here, you, I know I've done a number of videos to show you guys how to get into here. I've shown you a number of videos to show you how to get into ClassLink. Um, this is where the solution lies, just so you know. So let me show you what the problem is. From within remote desktop client, if I go into SolidWorks, and I go to file and I go to open, you'll notice that my, I'm in my student file right now. So my student account. So I have a student account called MS Tech Ed Student. I can see my Z drive, but Google is not showing up there. Um, and that is a problem. That's a problem if you're trying to open or save something to there. It is also a problem if you're in classroom trying to attach something to it. So. My example right now is just for my 8th graders in SolidWorks, but this works exactly the same if you are my 7th grade and you are in Adobe Photoshop. You know, you're going to go to File or Open in Photoshop and it's not going to show up. Um, you're going to try and attach a Photoshop file and it's not going to be there. Let me show you how I have gotten this to show back up. So if it doesn't show up, what I'll typically do is go back in and I'll exit SolidWorks or I'll exit Photoshop, whatever it might be, All right? Um, I will go over to my class link and if I go to managed, manage services, you can see that I have Google connected um, and it shows up actually in here. It'll show up here, but for whatever reason, it, it here it is right here, it loses its link with everything else. So here's how I've gotten it to work in the past. Close down Photoshop or close down SolidWorks disconnect the drive wait a couple of seconds connect the drive and i know this is annoying but this is the only way i know how to make it work i'm going to go back in and sign back in say allow you guys would do the same so it is now connected and when i go back to remote desktop before i open anything else up i want to click drive stream and say allow And a lot of times it'll be blank here. I've had kids um, send me a message and say it didn't do anything. Well, I know <laughs> it just did it for me too. So you may have to click it again and it's frustrating, but again, there, I don't have a workaround for it. So we'll let it do its thing and we'll see what happens here. Um, so it, the last time it, it actually kicked me out, this time it's just blank. If you click all resources and go back and click it again, there it is. So annoying, I understand that, but um, there it is and it's working and look what showed up down here in my Google file stream. So tedious and you have to jump through a bunch of steps, but there it is. If we go back to all resources now and we open SolidWorks, or we open Photoshop, whichever program you open now, as this program opens, that Google file stream should be there. Um, and you should be able to, to open from it and save from it. So let me go back here, file open. Look what's there. There's Google file stream. So I can click there. I can go into here. I can go into classroom and into here. And I can grab one of my projects that I opened. The other good thing now is that if I go back over here to my assignment, not only was it there for Photoshop or for SolidWorks, it is also now there that I can link to it. So if I go ahead and click add or create in a Google Drive file and I go to my drive in classroom in eighth grade or seventh grade, whatever you're talking about, and there it is. So it, I can just mark it as done and I can attach it and turn it in. Um, 
I couldn't attach the file because I already actually had it attached. So that's what's going on there. All right. Um, so you just have to trust me on that one. Just to show you guys that it also works for Photoshop too. My my um, group of kids that are on here from seventh grade. If I click allow and I open Photoshop. Uh, again, I apologize for this. This is this is a pain in the neck and it's problematic that you guys have to do this. But the good thing is once we get it to work, you'll be able to do this and very quickly get your drive stream to show back up. And that seems to be the, the big um, sticking point that's causing us issues. So check this out. File, open, Google file stream. There it is. So if I go into here in classroom and my seventh grade group, there's an assignment that I just worked on with them, and that is absolutely in my Google Drive. And uh, anybody want a recipe for cheeseburger soup? It's showing up on my screen. <laughs> um, so there we go. Um, that works. You guys can save and open to there. File save as. Um, remember, save to your computer. Even though it's saving to the cloud, it's a cloud link that's on your computer. So Google file stream, and there it is. All right. I hope this helps. Um, I hope this alleviates some confusion. Please try this. Um, please, you know, if it doesn't work the first time, try it a second time. I've gotten literally hundreds of emails trying to help you guys through this process. And um, I'm hoping that we finally got a solution that's going to work. And um, the solution when it doesn't work next time, which will probably happen, is to do the exact same thing I'm showing in this video right now. All right. So I'm going to test it with a couple of group or with a couple of kids that I've been working pretty closely with to try and get this to work. And if this does work, I'm going to push it out to everyone. So everybody have a great day.